What's up, everyone? Welcome to the last day of uh, Tomato Sauce Week on the Sam Livecast. Yeah. Woo! Not, not applauding. Wait, can we not see everybody when we do this? You know, it's hard to applaud and change cameras. Oh, at the same change time. cameras, yeah. then applaud. Don't you, you have a what? third arm? Forget it. I'm directing the show. You just oh, keep damn going. Damn it! <laughs> it's the excitement, though. Uh, I'm not applauding because it's the last day. I'm applauding because it's been a good week, tomato mm -hmm. sauce week. Uh, we started out with the um, just making the tomato sauce, and there's a million things you can do with that. Um, then we made the uh, the gratin slash ratatouille thing. The broiled the cheese it was so delicious and flavorful, and and now we're gonna do something that's like two three ingredients. It's Nothing. What you got there? I don't know. It's like a speck of something. So this is a nice little, nice little piece of halibut. We're going to poach this halibut in the tomato sauce. Poach in it. the tomato sauce? Poach. I love that. Do that once more. In the tomato sauce? You know where I got that from? Where? It's from Zoolander. Oh. <laughs> the files are in the computer? In the computer? Yes. That's exactly what we're going to do. So a little pot. And here's some of the tomato sauce. Mm, 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 mm. Tomato sauce goes in. And just like that. Just like that. We're going to start this warming. Now, by warming, I, I don't mean boiling, because I don't, I don't need boiling. I just need warming. Let's get the rest of this out. I got to be honest, man. I've never heard about poaching anything in tomato sauce. OK, so let's, to, for the people at home, Poaching is simply the process of cooking something, generally a protein, and mostly fish. You could poach chicken. Uh, or eat, vegetables. Or vegetables. A poaching at like, like fish in a liquid. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're doing it with a thick liquid doesn't change anything. A thick wood? A thick wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We're going to add a little bit of flavor to this. We're going to give it two, a couple of things. A little bit more of the red pepper flake. Yes, there's already red pepper flake in this, but that doesn't mean that uh, we're not going to add a little bit more because I want it a little bit spicy. Come, Max, come have a look. But just a tiny bit. So, like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. That's it. And we're going to add, wait. <laughs> I can't get it open. Some capers. Yeah, capers. And a little bit of the caper liquid. Ooh. Oh, oh God! Just for some salty flavor. Little little salty nuggets of <laughs> goodness in here, right? This can go great with the halibut. Yeah. So we just give this this. You know what's funny? I've always called Stevie a little chicken nugget. Yeah. And we had a friend come over the by other the way, day. By the way, Stevie is Max's uh, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, I'm no, kidding. It's, it's Max's dog. dog. <laughs> it's a little dog. And. Um, our friend had a friend come over yeah. that was in town, and the first thing he called him was a little nugget. He called him a little nugget? Yeah. No, he called Stevie he called a little Stevie. nugget. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, he is a little nugget. <laughs> sort of. Uh, so while this is starting to heat, uh, tomato sauce splatters. I don't really want it to splatter anymore. And I want to cut this fish. We're going to make two little beautiful pieces out of this. Who wants the skin on? Um, I'll go with Fine, skin then I'll take the skin off. <laughs> yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Can I do it with this? So here's my style. I'm going to do this. Get my knife here. Uh oh. And then I should go like that. There you go. There's your skin right there. There's no skin there. Beautiful. Throw that up. And now I'm just going to cut this guy into two little pieces. We're going to poach these two little kids in here. All right, let's have a look, see if we can do this. It's going to be a very fast live cast today, ladies and gentlemen. But then there is the beauty of the whole thing. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So give this a little stir. So the, cons the consistency of the liquid does not matter nope. when poaching. Doesn't matter one bit. Not one iota. So what about when you like cook brats and beer? Is that sort of poaching? Yes, essentially. Just 
cover them up and then leave them there. Boop. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. Nice. Can you believe that? No. I mean, I can't make it any easier for you. I know. But therein lies the beauty. Think about it. It's not like a two ingredient, three ingredient recipe. You've got the seven, eight ingredients of the sauce, but you did it beforehand. You had it in the freezer, you took it out this morning, it defrosted, or you just took the Ziploc bag that we talked about, slipped it into some water, let it do its thing. Comes back to life beautifully. You can microwave it back to life if you want to. Kind of grosses me out to do that, but hey, in a pinch, anything will happen. You could open up that Ziploc bag, dump a rock hard chunk of frozen sauce in this, put it on low, let it, let it come back to life. Especially now, we're heading into winter. This is when you want, you want to take a Sunday, you want to make an ass load of sauce, bag it up, and then away you go. Then you're fine for the next few months. It's a nice gift, I gotta tell you. Go over to somebody's house, forget that stupid bottle of wine. You walk in the front door with some great homemade pasta sauce, tomato sauce, that they can use for anything, Maybe you got a little handwritten recipe card. Okay, now I'm getting too crafty. I'm getting <laughs> way too Martha Stewarty about this. But that's the point. Have it in advance, and then there's a lot of things you can do with it. Okay, we take a quick break. We come back. We check out the condition of this beautiful fish, and then we have some bites. See you in a second. All right, welcome back. Uh, the uh, halibut is almost ready. So a little, a little uh, parsley will go beautifully on top and look beautifully, look beautiful on top. I mean, I could have had some like a rice or a pasta or something to put it on, but I'm not going to because this is about simplicity today. Ready, Max? Ready. Boom. Wow. Boom. Look at that, huh? Wow. That is nice. Okay, back up. Let's go put this on a plate, shall we? By the way, do you know what this thing's called? This thing. A fish spatula? No. Well, yes, but more <laughs> specifically, spatula. a fish slice. Oh. Oh. Didn't know that. Learn something new every day. Wow, look at that. So let's just put a little extra sauce here. It smells right? so good. You've got the capers living there on top, looking all beautiful. Um, hold on. Where are we at? We're right here. No, we're not. What's going on? Why don't we have some olive oil? Nobody move. I want a really good drizzle of extra virgin on top of this. And here we go. Just for a little bit of extra richness. And that. Perfect. Now, should we have a little Perfect. bite? Look at this. Perfect. And how did we make this? We made this quickly and simply because we already had the sauce made. I'm gonna go right here, Maxi boy. Look at how beautiful inside. Tender, perfectly poached, and the taste is gonna be kinda hot. Okay, if I had this in a restaurant, I would be so happy right now. It's so gently poached. It's beautiful. It's flaky, but it's still moist. Flaky often means dried out. Not in this case. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the benefits of poaching. It retains the moisture of whatever it is. It lives in that little world of the steam coming back down from the top of the lid. This shit is amazing. You got to do this. You got to do this. You could do it with any fish. You don't have to buy halibut. Halibut is not cheap these days, sadly. But, oh my God, it's so good. Max, you're having a bite. Yes, please. You do eat halibut, right? Oh, hell yes. Well, just making sure, because I know there's things that you don't eat. And I'll make sure to get a little caper in here oh, for you. Oh, please. A little extra sauce. Mm. Is that ridiculous? Holy shit. It's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. Honestly, you gotta oh do this. Oh my god. You gotta do this. Okay. 
It's been a damn good week. Oh, a yeah. damn good week. And it all started with the little... Microwave. Uh, it all started because we made the sauce. So, make the sauce again. If you're just catching up now, the recipe's on the website. It's called Everyday Tomato Sauce. That's your base. You got a thousand places you can go from there. All right, that's it. I got nothing else, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, hey, next week? Next week, I'm going to be away. But the boys are going to... Uh, the boys are going to have their own little best of festival. Yeah. Is that right? Hell yes. Right. Hey, what if Lynn cooked for one of them? Mmm. Whoa, whoa. All right, maybe whoa. we do that another day. We got more people working. That wasn't in the job description. Like that. <laughs> wasn't in the job description. All right, have a good weekend. It's perfect time to make this tomato sauce. See you next week. Thanks for hanging out with us.